and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Haney, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So the question today that we're going to answer in our minds, uh, are planks useless? And you must see this because we're going to show you a five-minute real-time option. Right. That we think works better. I'm, I'm going to jump to a that right away. Absolutely, Brian. Bob. And there are some very sound reasons why we think there's a better option. Not that planks are bad or stupid, but... We think there's a better option. Yeah, and we're going to explain it all. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Yes. Go to our website, bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. This week, we're giving away a couple Booyah sticks. Booyah. What's cool about Booyah, you can say Booyah when you buy one. Uh, go to the giveaway section, or you'll find it on Facebook. The contest will be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. That's right. Bob, I want to start this out with three years ago, we made a video that was very popular. It was planks. Are they just a fad? Question mark. Right. And we went on. And at that point, I brought out the idea that doing an isometric horizontal uh, plank is not a bad thing to do. It's going to strengthen certain muscles. But I think there's better ways to do it. And, that, and the reason is, is because I have spondylolisthesis. Yeah. I have to have core muscles in order for me to function without pain on Brad a daily. Was, you were headed down a path of surgery, I right. think, and also you were to the point where you couldn't run anymore. Right. And you, since that time, you've strengthened your core right. to the point where you're able to run again. Right. You're doing triathlons, aren't you? Exactly right. So, I, I'm doing yard work. Last yeah, night, yard I was work. wheeling yard, uh, black dirt from one end of my lawn to the other, uh, and I don't have pain today. And he has, you have a grade two. Right, grade Spine. two. It looks like a train went over L4 and L5. Yeah, yeah. If you, any, so I, I think you can speak to this topic uh, with, with right. a little certainty. And, and I think, you know, the whole thing about planks, whenever you're doing an exercise, you got to think of why are you doing it? Right. What, what is the purpose? And one of the purposes should be that when you do things in your life, activities, daily living, or working out, right. or when you're doing sports, you can protect your back. Right. And protect, you know, your core. And we know that the, the core has to be strong. It doesn't matter. If you don't have a strong core, the arm and leg strength isn't yeah. going to help. Isn't going to help, help you. Yeah. Right. And the big thing with me is I tried planks. And my back would get so sore, I'd have to take ibuprofen the next day. And a couple of days later, be fine. It's like, well, planks aren't working. What's going on? They're supposed to work. And this right. was a few years ago. And this is what happened. Bob came in. With this book from Tom Brady, sure. who was, you know, at the time we wrote it, I think he was 40 years old or, or right. so. Right, and now he's 43, Mike, is he? 42. Anyways. 42, 43. He's this old professional football player, quarterback, at the top of his game. Greatest of all time. And it's like, what is he doing? You know, he injured, you know, right. he's not getting injured so much, you know, anymore. And he's feeling great if you read the book. Right. He's feeling much better now than he was 10 years ago playing. Less soreness so, now. So we looked at the book and we found out resistance bands. Yes. And pliability of the muscles. So I started my own program. By the way, Brad, just real quick. Um, you can skip to the end of the, oh, the yeah. video if you want to do the, see the program. The five-minute real option is going to be at the end. We, wanted, we felt like we had to give this introduction first. Right. So but, I'm sorry, Brad, but I, no. we forgot to mention right. that. And people are going to go, Yeah, just why fast forward. Talking? You'll yeah. see when I'm working with the band. Yeah. But th this is a topic that if you're into exercise and you're into fitness, it's a controversy. Right. Yeah. So I want to straighten people out a little bit if it might help them because it certainly helped me. I started doing banding exercises and this took some time, but over time, it's like my core is feeling better. I can run now without, it was a three fourths of a mile and just you walking. Pain on the leg. Yeah, numbness. I ha, you know, so I was having a pinched nerve and I said, I knew what was going on. I got to change this one way or another. Uh, so I continue to do exercises for my spondy and combining aggressive core exercises with the band. And now this is actually an upright version of planks with activity. See, the problem with planks is you got an isometric position that strengthens the front anterior muscles right. more than the back. And when those muscles get strong or tight, they actually promote- Pull over into bad posture. Poor posture. Yeah. Right. So we need to 
work at the other direction. And actually, I'm a big proponent of working all four directions, all four planes of the back. So, And, you know, the thing is, Brad, you know, it's not just you anecdotally that's experiencing this. Uh, Dr. McGill did a lot of work on sure. this in his books. Yep. And we're, we're big fans of his. And he's done. he spent his lifetime dedicated to treating yep. back pain. And he's talking about some of the same stuff, tre uh, strengthening your core in a functional way. Right, so. right, right. And I've been looking at a lot of research. And now planks, right now the research is at the point where they're doing suspended planks. Sure. And they're consistently better than the static plank. And I have a feeling the vertical plank, which we did a video on a couple of years ago, is going to take over over yeah. the next few years. Yeah. And it's just so a lot easier to do. Exactly. Yeah. So... Now we're to the point where we're going to show the exercise program. We're going to show the five-minute real-time yep. option. I really think if you really like planks, continue to do them, but add this. Sure. It's going to make a big difference on your function on a daily basis. You know, planks are not going to give you a six-pack anyways. Right. You know, that's not the goal of planks. The goal of planks may be a flat stomach and strengthen that core. You do need to have a stretch band for sure. That's the only way that you can accomplish this. You have to have one, uh, two handles on it, and then you're going to find a place to anchor it. Now, you could anchor it uh, on a doorknob somehow. They do make... Uh, when you get these where you open a door and yeah, you put a you strap into the through. door. And that works fine. Yep. We use the wall anchor. As you'll see, they're very, very convenient. But one way or another, find a way to uh, secure uh, one end or in the middle of the, uh, of the banding. So here we go. Got the timer going. This should take just a little over five minutes. I'm going to do 20 reps. All right. I'm going to get out of the way. I'll just get over here and make All right. Comments. So we're going to... Start here, arms out straight, as straight as they are, and tighten up your core throughout the whole workout. And we're going to do squats. And I'm going to do 10. Bob, you can talk about Yeah, now you can see here, it doesn't look like he's doing anything with the band, but he, it is. It's preventing him from rotating, and it, it actually makes it a lot harder. Oh, and much harder. So he's getting a bit of a cardio workout here, too. I will be. Way. You'll yeah. find out. Yeah. And we have to do both sides. So he's going on the other side. I, I believe this is called like the peel-off press too. Uh, and they actually sometimes throw some rotation in with it. But it'll be interesting as you see Brad do these things, some of these things, it looks like he's rotating, but he's actually turning his pelvis too. So he's keeping his back pretty protected actually, even when he's turning. Exactly. So. Okay, the next one. Same thing, arms out, but we're going to march. And you'll find that you can change resistance by if I go closer to the wall, it's not so hard. Back over here, my core is really working, so adjust Again, it it's as needed. It's interesting watching this. It doesn't look like you're working at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not, believe yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, but he is, and you'll find out yourselves once you do this. And, you know, as you start these off, you may have to take rest in between. Yep. Are you going to try, Brad, without any rest? Yep, I'm going to go for it. I've been Brad's practicing. going to go for it. So, and, but you may have to use like a yellow band, which is a lot less resistance. Yeah. You can um, do this. And you can go like that, yeah. right? There's I, a lot I, less I'm going to get out of the camera there. scene, so I'm no. not. Okay. No. Now, this one. Look at this one. Well, we're, I'm going to go down here. You do not have to go to the bottom. You can keep it at the same level. But I'm going to actually work... A plank. So now he's going a with plank. With motion. But he's keeping, yep. Get my glasses off. There we go. So I'm going to do 10 on these. Yeah, now this is, you know, look at this. This is almost a swimming motion. Yeah, it is. Exactly, Bob. And, and uh, this is actually what you want to do with swimming, too. You want to strengthen your core for swimming and strengthen the arms. And, and you can get it that. in such a functional manner. Again, look at it. He's keeping his back straight. And when he's turning, his hips are turning too. Right. So he's not getting rotational stresses at the back. Same thing here. Look at the hips and the back are turning. So yeah. it's, he's not, not twisting the back. Right. He's moving the pelvis with the back at the same time. This is a fantastic exercise for the core and to teach the back to, to move correctly. This is a hard one. If you haven't done it before, be patient with yourself. Yeah, these are. Brad's making these look very easy, very difficult to do. 
You might want to start these actually without any resistance, Brad. Right. I exactly. Mean, uh, these are the ones. These are uh, some of the ones that Dr. McGill recommends in his books. Um, and some of these are for the layperson, and some of them are actually for the professional. Wow. Some of his books. Oh, and believe me, I can feel the core working. Right. These muscles over in here literally feel them fatiguing. Got to give you credit, Brad. You're in good shape. 57, 58. 57. 57. Don't get me old. older than I look, <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, don't, don't add any more years to the. This yeah. one we're going to hold up tall if you don't have shoulder problems. If you have shoulder problems, bring it down here. Just get farther away. Tighten the core up and foot fire. There we go. What you go? 20 seconds works Mike good. It, Mike, our cameraman, and from the Mike and Bob and Brad crew, he calls it fast feet. Fast feet, yeah. Uh, old foot fire might be old school. What's that? Now I'm going to turn 90 uh, degrees. So I work the core here. I was working my lateral or side core, but we're going to do it this direction. We're going to do four directions. So we work the core in all directions. You can see, particularly if you're a football player or soccer, you're moving all different directions. You have to have core strength and mobility in all directions with so many sports. Yeah, and this offers that. Really tough ones to do. This is really hard. It yeah, really makes you realize your back is weak. Yeah, you're really working posture on this one. You're working those muscles around the shoulder blades. I'm giving you credit, Brad. Now, Kudos to Brad. This one's tough if you, you can use one foot for balance. If you can hold up like this, and then you go to the right and to the left. And just touch for balance when you need it. If you can hold it up, that's the goal. Whew. Look at this. This That's, is fun. He's uh, reaching back to his karate days <laughs> and he's, his martial arts days. And he's. I'll he's, be like the. Uh, what was that movie, that popular movie with the kid, the child? The karate Kid. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, make sure you do both legs so that you. This is great. This is so functional when it comes to activities. It for leg, hip, everything. You can do lots of activities. Do you know where that's from, Mike? Okay, next one. And now Bob's been doing this one for years when we started. Right, right. I do this and I also do uh, lateral motion. Yep. Now we can go down with foot fire to the middle or out like reverse flies. And you can go up. Keep the motion going for a goal of 20 seconds or you can count 20 to 30 uh, repetitions with your foot fire. Again, you're obviously getting core and you're also getting cardio at the same well, time. Oh, yeah. So. And you always have to do both sides. So I'm going to start here. I'll start with some flies. Yeah, if Keep you were wondering how to get some cardio in your own home, this yeah. is a great one. To, you can actually run with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Brad even hooks up the cuff weights sometimes, or cuff to the, the lower extremity too. Right, and the bands. I hook the bands yeah. up to my ankles. And we're going to finish up. Last but not least is stir the pot. Getting that good uh, athletic stance. Elbow straight with the bands and circles. I'm not doing just arm motion. I'm working with my whole body, my whole torso works together. Yeah, he's stirring the pot. Tight stomach. Woo. Other direction. Now he unwound himself. He got wound up. Now That's right. And obviously we must face the other direction. One, two. And Aikido, we used to count like that. One, two, three, four. What? What's that? I don't know why. Well, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know, but you had to do it in that voice? Yeah, I don't know why they did it that way. <laughs> I was afraid to ask. Yeah. <laughs> That's, whew. All right, I'm going to take a nap. I'm getting tired <sighs> watching you. So, great core workout, hips, body, balance, the whole works. And you can maybe understand why. I think, because this has not been proven scientifically yet, but after reading Tom's book with the success of my back, and it just makes sense, doesn't it? I that think Miguel did some work on this, to sure. be honest with you, Brad, yeah. um, and, and showed that, yeah, scientifically it does help. Sure. And, and you're gonna, your performance in athletics is going to go up, but you obviously you can tone it down. You can start off with just much less Right, to start right, off with exactly. So when you're following here, you can just stop and rest when you get tired. But stop and rest or just don't it, do it as intense. You know, right. um, you, you can maybe not even throw the steps in there and just 
exactly start, to start doing core that way. So and it, I, my body goes either on or off. I, I'm sorry, but I can't. Yeah, Brad's got <laughs> that's one a personality speed. thing. <laughs> one speed and it's it's turned all the way up or so. off. Yeah, or <laughs> off. Thanks everybody for Take watching. Care.